550. 550? Yep. What was that? It says 550. Oh, Did they put the timing belt on right? Timing chain on right? I don't know. I never looked at it once. How much boost was that? Probably I'm a sure lot. 38 pounds. Yeah, yeah it's exactly the 700 some tuna. How's it going guys? Yep, today's another day. Today's another project. So this morning, I had Brent and Emilio come up to me and ask me, hey guys, hey Sean, guess what? We need you to put a mount here for the staging brake for Emilio's car. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's go ahead and take a peek at this thing real quick. So they already got it all plumbed and rock and roll ready. It's kind of dark in here, I'm gonna have to get some lighting. We're just gonna give you a quick run through. So it's already all plumbed. You can see the lines here. And as you can see, I can just pick it up, rah, grab it, flop it around. So yeah, let's go get some lighting and some materials and a tape measure and a marker. And we're gonna get this thing mounted. All right, well, I opened the garage door and that got me a little more light in here. So now you can see, you actually have all the lines ran. You go back to there and out to the wheels and then goes through the proportioning valve here out to the master cylinder. I just have to make this thing mount right in here. All right. Cha -cha. Seven inches. Ten inches. All right. So I got my three pieces of strap measurements. So now I can go get cutting. So I'm gonna mount a strap. Now let me grab the camera and get a little closer on this. You guys some detail. All right. So down here, there's two factory bolt holes for two tens right here. So I'm gonna build a strap that bolts down to both of those, comes across, and then it's gonna hang over this outer edge about an inch and a half. And then on the front here, it's got a spot for this bolt and this bolt. And those are both like 12 millimeters. So that's, so these are six by 1.0s. These are like eight by 1.25s. So, you know, four of those is gonna be pretty good. And then, to stop the flex this way, we're gonna use, well, it's very dark down under there, but down here, somewhere, I don't know if you can see my hand, is the front bolt for the seat mount. We're actually gonna make a brace that comes off of that and up to the bottom edge about right in here somewhere, where this outer edge is gonna brace and just make it so it stops the side to side bend. So it should be pretty beefy and it's all gonna be inch and a half wide by quarter inch thick strap steel and yeah we can go ahead and cut that stuff up and we're gonna start tacking building make this thing cool seven inches So, I want them to be even with the driver's side edge. So, I'll go ahead and mark the centers of the holes. Alright. So, I can go ahead and take the marker, get lined up with my finger, and grip it tight. Then, once I get the length the same, I can scribe that all the way down it. centers for the distance apart now I have my points here at the right depth and the right center to center to drill holes and of course I'm gonna make them a little bigger than what those bolts are and that gives me a little 
play. So here's our back plate. And we're gonna do the front plate. There's my centers, and this one, I don't really have anything inhibiting my distance, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it just about the same from that edge, so I'm just gonna throw a guest in it and hip line myself. There we go. As long as they're the same depth and it sits in there straight, that's what I care about. And none of this is gonna be too much in the passenger's leg way, I mean, it's kind of uncomfortable on the hips to even get my leg that far, so I ain't worried about it. All right, well, we're back to the bench. I'm gonna go ahead and center punch these real quick. I uh, bought some lifetime warranty bits, but because of the coronavirus, we've lost our tool guy. Because I canceled his route. And now I don't have bits that are sharp. So unfortunately, I am trying to find a bit that will drill the hole correctly. Being that it's a hole for... mil because of the head it's really an eight millimeter bolt but these are very common so those drill bits get worn out very quickly so now we're back in the car I'm gonna go ahead and bolt in our pieces so these pieces go here I gotta make sure the master cylinder is up above it so put that on my lap pretty much All right, um, all set up to tack this centerpiece for the mount on, but first things first, never well on a car. Got it unhooked the ECU. There we go. All right, we're all unhooked. We'll just put that on the dash so they'll be like, why won't it start? Well, the ECU's not in there. Alright, oh, there's our bracket, all tacked. So now we'll just take it over to the bench and final weld it up. And then I'll bolt it in so we can get these holes marked, get that bolted down. And then we can see if it flexes or not and see if we need that lower brace that I was talking about earlier. Yeah! That's all welded and we're gonna let that cool and then we're gonna head off over to the staging break and we're gonna take pretty much get the base unattached so we can get to the mounting holes to mark them drill them and get this thing ready to use all right so now I literally just need to pull this pin and then disconnect these two bolts right here so I can get down to the mounting holes underneath here to transfer to that. And right now that's over there cooling. So I got some snap ring pliers, which are what's retaining this pin. Some very small ones. I got some small little snap ring pliers here. 
Hopefully they're small enough. Oh, I had it. Darn it. All I gotta do is just get the master unbolted real quick and that'll make all this a lot easier. Oh, are you kidding me? Hmm. Got myself stuck. Okay. Boom. Now that I got that off, we will be able to access the hole directly under there. You can see now it was pretty tight. Right there, under there. And then the other one's under the handle here. So, you know, with the pressure line hooked up, there was no way I was gonna get it to fold back that far. Now I can. So it'll be much easier to put the mount back in here. Put that there, we'll hold that real quick where it's supposed to be. Slide it out, mark the hole and mark the back hole, drill them, put it together, let them go to the track. All right, now I'll get this back in here. Why do you make it look so easy? Because I'm old and I've been doing this forever. <laughs> Man, it looks so good. It looks like it belongs there. I'm like, how's he gonna do this? It's awesome. Here we go. So, oh yes. There we go. That's pretty solid. Go ahead and slide this on here real quick. Yeah, I'm about to use it. No, I don't. I don't have one and I need one. All right, now we get marks. Pull that back out. Put it on the bench, you go over the holes. Let's get this handle mount to our base that we built. All right. Well, ain't going anywhere. Go put it in the car. Pretty solid. So now I gotta go back to looking for that circlip. I have an ECU back in. put on his superhuman arm strength, you know, get that stuff going. Oh yeah. Well, I guess next steps go get Emilio. We'll have him hop on in here, grab the handle, and see if we get his seal of approval. After that, I think we're pretty good though. Done? Guess what, bro? What happened? I need you to get your butt in there. Okay, sounds good to me. Test it out. Ooh. Yeah. Grab it, give it a tug. Feels good. That's solid. 
and nice. my seat fits good. I still could use my e-brake. I like Heck it, man. Yeah. You know what, man? Here, hold on. Let me uh, put this here. I'm gonna give you a shove backwards, okay? Just leave it in neutral. Oh, and, and then I'll just have you grab the staging, okay? Test it out. Let me put the steering wheel. Just... All right. Oh, she stops good. Hell yeah, I appreciate that, man. That's awesome. You make it look so nice, too. Yeah, if I would have had a little more time, I would have painted and stuff like that and built nah, a brace for that. But We got to go to the track. But I like how you have this because, like you said, we can mount this later on and that'll be out the way and yep, we can yep. adjust it if we need to. But give yeah. it to the boosted boys to give me a few hour window to get something done before yep. a race. Well, you're the oh, only one that can do it that fast. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. That's awesome. Now I'll be able to just... <laughs> Next time, give me a full day and you'll have a finished product. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you left me with one of your badges right here, man. I don't have time to get that on right now. I, I got to get a couple right ECUs now, done. I, I, want, I, I want a Sean badge right here so I can look at it every time. All right, all right. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Came out awesome. <laughs> Glad you like it, bro. All right, guys. You heard it from Emilio himself. It stops. It holds the car. He's ready to go test it. Hope you guys enjoy watching me build that. It's bright out here, so I'm gonna get back inside. Have a great day, guys. All right, so Jamie fixed the dyno, and uh, we may be better. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>